Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Farmer Contractor. We are busy on a bit of a commute at the moment. We've got a brand new toy to us on the back of this tractor here today. And we're going to have a bit of a, a look around it. We're going to put it to work for the first time, get it nice and dirty. And we are going to ex explain really why we took this decision. So we're just making our way over to our regular customer here. Uh, we have a bit of muck to spread for them. We came over yesterday afternoon with the low loader and the JCB, uh, which is all parked up nicely there. And uh, we'll be making a bit of progress. Oh, it looks like over there, they got a bit of hay down. No build up. Uh, so yeah, we have our new to us spreader on the back of this tractor. And we're going to have a bit of a play around with it in just a moment. There is the JCB as we left it. Was told I could just leave it parked up there overnight. So we did last job for us with this demonstration uh, machine before it has to go back uh, and no better job for us to do other than have a bit of a, a bit of a, a yank around in the muck up here so that should be good uh, now we're just gonna scoot up here uh, without causing any damage to any of us hopefully because that would suck and now uh, we'll get ourselves in figure out where we're gonna park this up here and then go and get the Watch the cattle shed there though, that'll be better. And yeah, we'll go and get the low loader. My word, is it tight through here? That's uh, that's interesting. So we're going to have to have a, a little think about how we do this carefully. However, you've seen it on the back there already. Let's have a bit of a better look into this and a dive into our new burning Mark IV Lowlander spreader. And here it is, really. We have made a decision to, to go for this. Uh, it is brand spanking new, as you can see. It hasn't had a day's work. Uh, realistically there it's it's not the cheapest but for what it is there it's it's a good bit of machinery to invest into and it is immaculate really absolutely superb we got a good deal on this one as well i think it's about 22 22 000 all in uh and yeah we've only got the one for now we'll see how we get on uh but we do have quite a bit of work to do with this not only obviously today we have our own muck to shift as well we're also getting into uh a bit of sludge work as well at the uh at the local bga to us uh so we'll be tanking that and there's also some that's a bit too thick to tank so we will be looking where possible to crack on with a bit of spreading here so that's the plan that's what we're thinking and that's how it should work so day one of ownership and it's going straight into work which is great we're going to pull off the jcb from the low loader uh and then we'll get straight on into it really and have a bit of a play it's a simple machine to operate it is quite large but it's uh yeah it's not a complex thing by any stretch up we go and then yeah we will be able to get cracking along there the keen eagle eye the box you will notice that our bucket that we're using for this and i always do use a bucket for muck there it's just a little bit a little bit easier when it's been sat in the clamp for a while as well i find and also when you're in a field it doesn't make quite so much of a mess on the on the stubble uh but yeah this is this was our grain bucket there but we will be getting a slightly bigger one so um that's why we relegated this to muck duties and we'll see how we get on uh ideally you know this is gonna be perfect i would love to get this into some uh, uh muck min in the middle of a field somewhere just to see how it handles and how it can push but yeah it should be a good job just to see how we get on with this tally handler for the last time today i think it's gonna go back we'll get back to our yard tomorrow and then we'll see from there so uh yeah there's plenty of opportunities now we're actually gonna be spreading it if memory serves in that field over there so we can We'll get this loaded up first and then we'll just have to spin around uh, and get out through that gate there that's gonna be my thinking at the very least uh and all right then so let's just see how we get on here certainly at least this from it from this machine but now what i would say about this tally handle as well is that it is a little bit higher as well so that just makes it for a bit easier uh we've got silage bales behind us there that we need to be a little careful of uh and all right let's see We'll just keep rummaging through this. There should be a few loads. See, there's another uh, mucky that we're going to try and get to spread into, but apparently it's got a load of uh, barley uh, around, so that might not happen. Uh, so we'll see how we get on. But yeah, nice and easy to fill. Ideally as well, if we... Oh, we spilled a bit there. We just got to go over it. If we were able to, uh, you know, sufficiently get enough custom in here, maybe a second one of these machines would be great just so you can really crack on and make some good progress. But... Uh, you know as it is right now we'll take what we can get in front of us in terms of any custom work uh and we'll see how we can advance moving forward and this is just a good to starting point really 
Uh, we do a lot of slurry work at the moment, uh, and there's, there are opportunities and scopes out there. We have been leasing and hiring in uh, spreaders such as this, actually, uh, and Richard Weston spreaders as well. Over, over the, the years, we have hired those in where we've needed them, but, uh, you know, if there's an opportunity to to reduce hiring costs by actually buying one of our own, then, yeah, I'm all, I'm all for it. Now, we're just going to tie this little bit up here. I don't know how we drag this all out. But we'll get this all in place and then we can get on with the first load there i'd imagine pretty soon so yeah let me know what you think of the spreader there what if you've seen it if you've used one of these before if you own one of these let me know what you think of it and how it's uh, performed for you uh, i must say the telehandler here despite being a little bit bigger is still very mobile very agile in these uh, smaller yards uh and yeah I'm, I'm liking it a lot i must say um, hoping that we can continue this uh, to maybe look into a bit of a trade up here the more i use this the more it seems like it's a good idea for us uh we'll really try to get it back for when we're uh doing more pit work with the bj for the third cut round there because i think that will be will be pretty crucial to see how that works so that might be and that'd be a great opportunity for us to really explore how well this moves uh and the power it has on the pit because that's the one area that our agri pro is start, is a little lacking to be honest uh it does great for everything else that we need but that if we could fix that that would be just superb so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes but for right now anyway this load in here and then we'll we'll get after it i think that should be us all right and then let's just park this back here for now farmer who we're working for here did offer just to load us up with his machine but i did say i'd rather uh come in with this demonstrator today just to see how we get on with it more than anything uh see how it works these are all beef cattle in here i've been told looking rather well for themselves all right and so let's uh turn off that flashing beacon there and then we're gonna have to square ourselves up and go through that gateway there that's where we're heading uh not sure we can manage that and the reason we're in here now is because this yard's about to fill up with silage bales i've been told so if we can get in now and get us all like uh, a little bit more room to maneuver then it kind of makes sense for us all and uh, makes the job easier for everybody a uh, new shed up here recently as well actually on this farm I, we were here last time around to pump the slurry out from the lagoon under the shed because they were they were expanding it or something so uh, that's clearly gone through well. Have to go in a bit of an angle. One thing you need to stick in mind here as well is that the wheels do stick out a little bit. So you've got, not like your regular trailer where they're underneath your body. That's a little bit tight. Okay, through we go there. Perfect, perfect. All right. Pulls nice and easily as well. Good wide tires on the back of this. Whilst they do stick out a little bit, they are very good for, for uh, minimizing compaction when you're driving across ground there. And also when you have got a full load in there, making it nice and effortless, really. Uh, does a great job there. Uh, Piggy's in here. This is pretty cool. Mm, lots of them as well are hidden around there. So we we'll have to be careful about gates, though, I do think. Uh, that guy looks pretty... Hey, piggy. Not really interested in moving there, are you? Fair enough. Uh, okay. And we'll get on here. So, yeah, it, I don't think we'd ever put it onto one of the bigger tractors than this. Uh, I mean, the 718 would be equally good with it. It doesn't need a lot of power. It's just um, it's just pulling, really, to be honest there. It, it doesn't need a lot of power to, to run the thing at all. Uh, so this should be more than fine. And I think what we'll do... Excuse me, Piggy. Don't wanna disrupt you too much there. Let's just get around the corner here. And then we'll go straight in through here. And we are off to the races. So we're not going to bother with GPS, actually. We're just going to fly along with it and see how we go. I think I've got everything set up so the belt speed is not too fast. Um, there are a few dials that you can really hone in on the speed. So you can calculate really how much you're putting out per square meter. 
uh but today we're just going to we've got to set up pretty uh pretty slow on the uh on the belt because uh, we want to try and cover as much of this field as we can uh and we will see what we'll just do here is dial down the speed a little bit got the hydraulic door open on the back there so in theory we're away Hold that right down there you go get that speed down we're doing about 5k that uh, should be enough here uh this mug's quite heavy as well so it's uh it's gonna break up quite nicely there's not too much straw in it either so it's uh or it's certainly already um decomposed enough that it will rot in straight away and the reason we're putting this on right now is so that this particular field they want to get a third cut out of this i think it's gonna be hay when it does arrive so if we're able to really get going there and put a bit of uh, muck on the ground now, allow it to get worked in. They'll run some harrows over it, no doubt, at some point. Just allow that to really get uh, worked in and then not affect the quality of the grass when it grows through. Uh, I do believe a lot of the ground here they are putting in, or the grass that they get here, is hay and they're putting into the equine industry, I think, along with other things. So be interesting to see how, th how that patterns out. But yeah, ultimately, it's uh, we're away. Uh, elsewhere today we're baling hay we've got the fleet out or baling some hay um, a bit far away from the yard actually there but they're out and uh, they've got about 60 acres of large baled hay to get done today so that should be good job to get ticked off the list uh and then uh yeah we, we, we'll be back to our yard a little bit more grass work to do in the area and then combine's coming out soon uh, that's gonna be the next job and we should be able to get going there too so all being well at least that's the plan and uh, we'll see how it uh, how it materializes as we as we progress through. So um, we've got a few other little bits and pieces of other jobs like this to do whilst we can get onto some grassland there. A bit of tanking work as well as more and more people get through their uh, get through their their grass work and get through their first cut silage, the the slurry jobs really start to kick up. So we'll see how that looks. Uh, as you can see, this tank this uh, about. But as you can see, this spread load is lasting a while. We're going uh, sufficiently fast enough that we do cover enough ground, but we're not going to... I mean, if the, they have more grassland that we can spread onto. So uh, this will just give this a nice little kick on and allow us to uh, see how we're going. What I might do, though, is I got the, uh, a drone with me when we got into this straight here. I might just send the drone up for a little bit and see how this is all looking and see what it looks like in, in action here for the first time. Okay then, so we have just emptied for the first time. Got nearly, I'd say, three quarters of the way around there, actually. Uh, pretty happy with that. We'll go and fill it back up again, and then we just rinse and repeat. We'll get this job done. Uh, this probably, this is probably, where are we now? Uh, a good, uh, good solid morning's work. Uh, but as soon as we get finished here, we'll be uh, taking this back to the yard there, coming back with the big fence, uh, and then we're going straight to the depot, I think, with the JCB. For now at least uh, and returning that sadly as well we need to go and speak with a dealer and see you know see how uh, sharp he can get his pencil there and see what that looks like for our finances on this particular machine and see if we can do it and trade in and all that other good stuff so that's something that uh, that's a conversation that we'll be having later on today for sure uh but right now at least we'll just enjoy using our brand new muck spreader to us here and see what the trouble we can get up to with it uh, and then yeah, I'm interested to see so this is gonna be a slightly easier way I think just to get out of this field the next time That'll do it perfect
And then, so there you have it. We're going to just keep loading up here and see how we get going. Uh, and then we'll be on. So we'll be back with you. Who knows where we'll be next time around, really, what we'll be doing. Uh, but we, we, what I do know for sure is that you will join us next week for more. So until then, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up. Subscribe for more from Simulation for the Nation as well. Plenty more coming up there as we really crack along into the harvest period. So we'll see you for the next one. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy what you're doing, and we shall see you all in the next one. Catch you later.